Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you every single painting in Minecraft and so we'll be going through all of the 26 paintings in detail and also looking at the original images that inspired them and so if you like Minecraft videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one and check out the all series linked in the top right side of your screen where I for instance go over all structures, all death messages, all biomes and all other kinds of Minecraft topics. But today we'll be focusing on the, as I said, 26 paintings that are available in Minecraft. We'll start off with the smallest ones and work our way up to the largest ones in the game. And so all of these paintings in Minecraft are based on paintings by Christopher Zetterstrand. And this first one over here is called Alban. And so the Minecraft painting is not very clear, it's only one by one, so 16 by 16 pixels. And the description of this is a man wearing a vest standing next to a house and a bush. And as the name suggests, Alban, it might be in Albania. And so the original looks something like this, which is way clearer and almost looks like a completely different picture than the original. Although the colors do still appear pretty much the same. Of course, with just 256 pixels, you can't really do much. Then the second one by one painting is over here. This one is called Aztec and it is a free look perspective of the map, the Aztec from the game Counter-Strike. So here's the original painting where we can see the image in way greater detail. And so this is not the only painting of this Counter-Strike map in the game because there is actually Aztec 2 as well, which is right over here. So once again, just 16 by 16 pixels and once again, a free look perspective of the map, the Aztec from Counter-Strike. And here's the original painting, which of course has way more detail than the pixelated Minecraft version, as we'll see with pretty much every single one of the paintings in this video. And so since the painting in Minecraft is square, a part of the painting is actually cut off. And so here is the full original painting. So we're not done with the one by one paintings just yet. And also not done with Counter-Strike just yet, because this is called Bomb. And it's a painting of the map The Dust 2 from Counter-Strike. And the original painting was actually called Target Successfully Bombed and looks something like this. And this is of course a reference to the game Counter-Strike where you can place a bomb and let it explode if the other team doesn't defuse the bomb. Again, part of the painting is cut off here, so the full painting looks like this. Now let's move on from Counter-Strike because the next painting, yeah, in Minecraft it doesn't really look like anything, but it's called Kebab and the description is a Kebab with three green chili peppers. And so this will be a whole lot more clear if we go over to the original painting. There we go. The original painting was called Kebab Matre Pepperoni. And so here we can actually see the three green chili peppers. And so this one seems really random, like all the paintings in the game. And for some reason, all of these paintings also were introduced in in-depth versions or alpha versions of the game. And no new real paintings have been added recently. Apart from one painting, we'll see later on in this video. Then next is this painting here, which is just called Plant. And it's a still life painting of two plants in a pot. And if we move over to the original image, it was called, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, Paradistret, which is Swedish for money tree and a common name for the depicted species of plant we see here in Scandinavia. But yeah, if we switch back to the pixelated version in Minecraft, I still don't see it. And then the final single block painting is this one over here. The final one was just 16 by 16 pixels. It is called Wasteland and it's a painting of a view of some wastelands. And there's also a small animal sitting on a window ledge, which you can see way better if you look at the original painting right here. We can see the rabbit on the bottom on a window edge looking out on a wasteland. And so now let's move over to the two by one paintings. First of all, the horizontal two by one paintings, starting off with this one over here, which is called Courbet. And the description reads, two hikers with pointy beards seemingly greeting each other. This painting is based on Gustave Courbet's painting, The Meeting or Bonjour, Monsieur Courbet. And so in Minecraft, the pixelated version just pretty much looks like a blob of pixels. But now let's switch over to the original version right here which there yes you can see two hikers greeting each other here again the painting was cut to fit the two by one ratio but here is the full image all right then we'll move on to the next painting which is this one over here it is called pool 
And it's actually some people skinny dipping in a pool over a cube of sorts. And there's also an old man resting in the lower right edge. So luckily this is very pixelated in Minecraft, but here we'll take a look at the original, which is also called the pool. Then this one is one of the more clear ones already in Minecraft itself, one of the smaller paintings that is actually clear of what it is. And yes, it is a painting of a view of mountains and a lake. We have a small photo of a mountain on the left and a bright colored plant on the right on a window ledge. So this is called C and is based off this painting called Seaside, where we can see that the plant on the right doesn't contain any red, while the version we see in Minecraft has many red pixels. And so you might already know, but there are actually two versions of this painting in the game. So there's this one we have right here, and we move over to this one. It is pretty much the exact same painting, except for that there is a creeper face instead of the plant. And this one in game is called Creebeth, and that's pretty much the only difference here, with the creeper staring you in the face. And then the final horizontal 2x1 painting is called Sunset. It is just a painting of a view of mountains at sunset. And the original was called Sunset Dance. And looks something like this. I really like this painting. It just has a nice ambient feel. Then next let's move over to the 2x1 paintings. But this time the vertical 2x1 paintings. First of all we have Graham. And so this is a painting of King Graham. The player character in the video game King's Quest. And the original looks like this and is also called Graham. And so this seems really similar to the version we have in Minecraft. But we can actually zoom out here because the original painting is way larger. And this Graham character is only a small part of the original painting. And so that's pretty much everything we know about this painting. Then the second and last vertical 2x1 painting is this one over here. It is called Wanderer and it's a low resolution version of Caspar David Friedrich's famous painting Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog. The original looks something like this and was also called Wanderer. And just like the previous vertical 2x1 painting, also this painting is way larger in the original. Here we zoom out and see that the guy on the painting we see in Minecraft is just a small portion of the original painting. Alright, then we move on to the 2x2 paintings. There are quite a lot of these. So this first one is called Bust and it's a painting of a bust of Marcus Aurelius surrounded by pixelated fire we see on the right and the bottom left. And here's the original painting as well. And then continuing on with this fire trend, the second 2x2 painting here is called Match. And it is a hand holding a match causing a pixelated fire on a white cubic gas fireplace. Nothing too intricate and also here is the original version which looks pretty much exactly the same as the one already in the game. Apart from that you can now of course see that there is actually a mountain with trees in the background. And as we get to larger painters of course there can be more detail in the paintings because this is already 32 by 32 pixels and so it's easier to actually display these kinds of things. Then we have this painting over here. It is Skull and Roses and it's a painting of a skeleton at night with red flowers in the foreground. Ground. And so the original painting is here and it's actually quite different because we don't see the roses here. And the original painting is actually way larger so zooming out here we get to this original painting. It depicts a woman sitting in a couch while the skull is in the middle of a body of glacial water. And so the original was actually called Moonlight Installation and not Skull and Roses like the painting is called in-game. Then this painting you can already see some interesting stuff going on. So it is a painting of the scenery from Space Quest 1 and we can actually see the character Graham again on the left which we already saw in an earlier painting one of the vertical 2x1 paintings. And Graham is of course from the video game series King's Quest. So this painting is called Stage. And we can actually see a Minecraft spider on the top right. While if we look at the original we see a normal spider. And the original is called The Stage is Set. Instead of just Stage. And like we've seen before also this painting is actually larger when we look at the full original. So here is the full original painting. Then we have this painting over here called Void. And it is a painting of an angel praying to what appears to be a void with pixelated fire below. So many of these 2x2 two two paintings have some sort of pixelated fire for some reason. And so this one also has a little bit of it at the bottom right. Then we can look at the original painting as well which was called The Void. And here it looks even more surreal than in the pixelated Minecraft version. Alright, and then we move on to the final 2x2 two two painting in the game. And it's a quite curious one because this one is called Wither. 
and it is a painting depicting the creation of a wither. And it is actually the only painting in the game not based on a real life painting and it was only added in Minecraft 1.4.2 in snapshot 12w36a. So actually a quite recent edition of a painting, which is odd when you consider that every single other painting was added during an alpha or beta or even earlier stage of Minecraft. So quite interesting there. Then we move on to the larger paintings. First of all, we have the only 4x2 painting in Minecraft, which is called Fighters. It is two pixelated men poised to fight and they are paper versions of fighters from the game International Karate Plus. So we can also take a look at the original version of this painting. It's right here. It's also called Fighters. And so actually this painting is the only 4x2 painting in the game currently. And so in that way it is actually really unique because it's the only painting to have a unique size. All the other sizes have multiple paintings. And again, the original painting is actually quite a bit larger than the version we see in Minecraft. So here is the full original painting. And so now let's go one step bigger with a painting we've pretty much all already seen, I believe. So this is the Donkey Kong painting. It is four blocks by three blocks large. And so that's 64 by 48 pixels. And so it is a paper looking screenshot from the level 100M from the arcade game Donkey Kong. We can see Donkey Kong at the top along with Peach. And if we switch to the original, we can see this in a whole lot more detail as well. And so the original painting was called Kong instead of Donkey Kong. Again, this is just a small part of the full original painting where here we can actually see some bricks around the Donkey Kong stage and some sort of weird white feature at the top with a random symbol in it. I don't know what it all means, but if you know, please let me know in the comments down below. And then the second and last 4x3 painting is called Skeleton. And it's a painting of the mean midget from the adventure game Grim Fandango. And the original is right here and that was called Mortal Coil. And as we've already seen with many of these paintings, this is a small part of the full painting. So once again, there is a window edge, but this time there's a sort of pattern that can be seen in the window, but you can't see through the window itself. So it might also be a mirror. And so then we move over to the largest paintings in the game. So these paintings are four blocks wide and four blocks tall. So 64 by 64 pixels instead of the 16 by 16 the smallest paintings were. And so the first one is called Burning Skull. It is a skull on pixelated fire and in the background there is a moon in a clear night sky. And so this painting was actually based on a Minecraft screenshot with the grass block and a 3D skull added on top. And here is the original which was called Skull on Fire. And people actually looked for the seed of the world this painting was inspired by and they actually found it. So the seed is on screen right here. So if you have access to this version, you can go visit this location in game. Then we move on to the second 4x4 painting, which is a painting of a girl that is pointing to a pig on a canvas. And so this is called pig scene. And it's actually not what the original painting looks like because if we switch to the original painting here, we can actually see that instead of a pig, it shows red, green and blue blocks representing the three colors of the RGB color model used by computer displays. And the original name of the painting was then as well RGB instead of pig scene. So quite a difference there. Also the full original painting is a little bit less cramped as you can see here. And then we move on to the final painting in the game, which is called pointer and so it's a painting of the main character of the game international karate plus in a fighting stance touching a large hand and so here's the original of this pixelated version also called pointer and so this could also be interpreted as a play on michelangelo's famous painting the creation of adam because of course there's also the touching hands there and so there we go those are all 26 paintings currently in minecraft in minecraft better condition there are also four unused paintings which i show on screen right here so those were two blocks by two blocks paintings but they were never used in the game and so they are called earth fire water and wind so four elements and so we don't know why these were never added into the game completely and why they never appeared in java edition at all and so there we go if you enjoyed this video then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more micro videos like this one i want to thank my tier 3 member this mikelar thank you for becoming a tier 3 member if you also want to become a member click the blue join button below the video to check out the different tiers but there we go i hope you all enjoyed the video up till in the next one so until then Mmm, bye-bye!
Thank you.